Okay, we're going to install a mill, Tom Bennett mill, and a auger system today at Colorado Boy in Montrose. So, here is our new Tom Bennett mill. Uh, something we helped invent. Still got to put the uh, safety cowling on, but uh, all stainless steel hopper, really nice. And from the very bottom, under there, where the mill drops, we're going to add components from Farmer Boy AG. Two of these angle pieces, which will give us a sufficient angle. And then attaching to those will be this receiver. And then from there, we'll use different uh, flex auger pieces that will come up to the top. Now if you can see that, uh, is the receiver motor which turns the auger. Let me come in here and show you better. Right here. So we've hung this with chains. We still have to wire it up. And then the auger will set that and it'll go down to the motor. There we go. Okay, so now we've set up those two angle pieces and we've established a an angle that can come off the mill. It can go up to 60 degrees. Okay, now we've got the mill set up and we've run the auger and it goes all the way up there. Our next thing is we're going to unravel the, uh, the flex corkscrew auger part itself and we're going to run it down through the top and then connect it right here to this bearing piece. Slide that in, then we'll tension it and then hook it back up to the motor. Okay, here's a close-up of the motor that drives this whole thing. That goes down. And what we're doing is we're, we're gonna, this is uh, the control box and then this is the motor itself. We're going to wire them together and then run the switch down next to the mill. This is a close-up of what it looks like. So now we're going to take this off and we're going to put, put the corkscrew uh, in through this end. Okay, so now we've got the uh, auger set in the tube. And you can see it comes out. We actually tensioned it. It's uh, supposed to be two inches per 50 feet. Uh, we're about 25 feet, so we pulled it through there. We just kept pulling it through until we had about an inch of tension and then we tighten this little lock nut down. And uh, that buttons that up. Okay, in conclusion, we have it switched for the auger and the mill, which powers our explosion-proof motor. Explosion-proof motor. Right there, to our really sweet hopper. Auger all the way up. Locking in here. That's it, going above the mash gun. Right there. And I just have to uh, run a line down here, through here, to my hopper system, into my grist hydrator, and into my really sweet mash tun made by Bennett Forge Works in Ridgeway. Okay. Now we've hooked up our uh, mill and our auger, and it's up there as the previous video. Find that it has a little bit of vibration, so. This is a bracket that we've custom made and we're going to drill a few holes. We're going to use this height clamp or U-clamp to connect it to our pipe right up there and attach that to the ceiling take some of the vibration out of that. Hey, here's that bracket that Steve made in place and we are doing our first match. It's going down in. Into the mash. And the mill's working perfect. <laughs> 